Hi, Tyler from Interfidelity here at Can Jam Rocky Mountain Audio Fest 2015. I'm in the Fostex booth, and I just got a chance to listen to a pair of T50 RPs. Now, you'd think there's not a lot to t say about that because they've been around for how long? Since the 80s. Since the 80s. Uh, and uh, evidently, the diaphragm hasn't changed and the magnet hasn't changed, but they've done a lot of modifications internally. And oh my goodness, do these sound good. I can't wait to get a pair up there. Congratulations, Chris. Amazing uh, uh, job. Why don't you tell us a little bit about them? Sure. Well, I'm, like, uh, like you were saying, I mean, uh, the T50RP certainly won't seem new to some. Uh, Fostex was actually one of the first pioneers of the planar or orthodynamic uh, planar magnetic drivers right. uh, back in the 70s. Actually. Right. Uh, and so this particular headphone we redesigned for this year. It's the Mark III version, uh, which distinguishes it from the previous uh, T50RP, and also with the other two models, the T40 and the T20RP Mark II. These are the new Mark III versions. Right. So basically, for this new redesign, uh, they've kept the same legendary RP series driver. It's been uh, present in the models for some time. Uh, they've made numerous uh, aesthetic improvements. Also, probably more importantly, uh, they've retuned the actual housing around the driver for very flat and clear frequency response. And I think, uh, you know, headphone aficionados and even uh, many people that are f uh, familiar with the RP series will be pleasantly surprised. With the yeah. Frequency response. Yeah, very, very surprised. And the the uh, price uh, um, of the the headphones? Uh, yep, these are going to be shipping for uh, one fifty nine uh, the, for the the, the T fifty RP is uh, for all three models actually. All three models. Same price one fifty nine. Uh -huh. And we've included with um, this new version. We have uh, two cables that actually ship in the box. So there's a four foot uh, orange accent uh, cable. Uh, this is a locking cable mechanism. Uh, and this one has a three and a half millimeter jack on the end. Okay. For mobile use. And, uh, of course, the same cable that we've been shipping on the previous models, which is a 10-foot cable terminated in a uh, quarter-inch jack. The quarter-inch So you have one cable that you can use at home or in the studio for, uh, you know, basically stationary applications with the quarter-inch jack. And then this shorter cable is perfect for life on the go. And uh, can you uh, tell me what the differences are, the differentiation is between the three different models? So the T50RP uh, is a semi-open construction with uh, acoustic baffling and uh, you know, dampening material inside uh -huh. to achieve the overall flattest frequency response. So wait a minute, before you go any further, damping material inside. I can't comment specifically as to you know, has the, how the engineers have you know, improved this version with the... But there the is version. damping material inside. Uh, well, I mean, some might call it that. Uh, the words for it might be a yeah. baffle. Or other, okay. just basically the, the overall construction time, inside. You All right. The, uh, the I mean, it's a very versatile and driver. And We're able to achieve three very oh. different sound characteristics uh, with the same driver in all three models, but right. just by changing the construction of the cup around the driver. Okay. And so then the T40? So the T40 is a fully closed design. Uh, right. From the outside, I mean, they appear... Looks the same. Except basically. for the badge, they would be, yes, they would appear identical. Right. And then the T20 is the uh, fully open design. So with the T40, you have a real focused bass response. Uh -huh. Also, uh, because these are not only audiophile headphones, these are uh, you know very popular headphones in recording suits. Right. In fact, that's, that have was, been for years and years and in years. In fact, that was their claim to fame for, for some time. It was yeah. the only headphone that, for, for example, uh, Michael Jackson would ever use in the studio was the Fostex RP series. So the T40 has its applications as a closed back headphone uh, for you know tracking where you want minimal bleed. Right. Uh, and of course, uh, for DJs, uh, front of house people, sure. closed back headphones is definitely a preference. Sure. And uh, the T20, and this, this one has a very focused bass response, the T40. Uh -huh. T20 has uh, a very deep and open bass response going to its open construction. Cool. Well, um, I have to say, I almost walked by the booth because, you know, uh, I've heard T50RPs and, and many, many, many modified T50RPs and measured them. And what I heard was uh, uh, superior to pretty much everything I've heard uh, as modified T50RPs. I, I'd have to actually go head-to-head -head against some of the better, you know, Paradox and uh, LFF stuff uh, to, to uh, be able to compare. But, boy, you guys have done a terrific job in the factory. Good well, thanks, job, Chris. Thanks Thank you very much. By. Yeah. And we'll see you guys at the next booth.